Hey everyone, welcome to Area 616. Well guys, it's a couple of days late, but my review and separate spoilers discussion for Venom is finally here. As you might remember from my previous videos, I've been skeptical of Venom throughout the marketing campaign, but I was interested to see what it would end up being like. Venom's a really cool character with a lot of potential, and it's of course an added bonus that they have an actor as great as Tom Hardy attached to play him. So, now that I've seen Venom, is it really as bad as everyone says it is? Maybe? I think the experience with Venom will vary widely from person to person, just depending on what you enjoy out of movies. This isn't a great movie, but I also wouldn't go so far as to say it's a bad movie. It's just really outdated. It's clear that, despite everything, Sony still can't get the early 2000s superhero tropes out of their head, and the result is a movie that feels like it's from 2005. Nowadays, thanks to the MCU, people expect a lot more from superhero movies, and I don't know that this movie delivers like that. It's just generic through and through. The plot is really by the numbers. I literally predicted it pretty perfectly back in, like, May with the second trailer. But there's also just not much substance to the movie. There's very rarely a moment where it feels like it's trying anything new with the genre. It's just exactly what you thought it would be from the first teaser trailer. The only thing I didn't expect is how weirdly goofy it is a lot of the time, which I'll get to. There are some cool moments and interesting ideas littered here and there that show that I think if it had been anyone other than Sony, it probably could have been a much better movie. For example, I really love the idea that the Venom symbiote is its own living creature with its own desires and goals, which leads to conflicts between him and Eddie. There's really very few characters, superhero or not, that are like that. In fact, as far as Marvel goes, I can only name three off the top of my head. The Hulk, Ghost Rider, and Venom. But Venom is easily the most extensive version of this. They do explore this a bit in the movies, but never in really meaningful ways. It's usually done for laughs, but I think it could have been something really interesting. That brings me to the lead, Eddie Brock. I don't know what to think of this guy, honestly. Tom Hardy, as previously mentioned, is an awesome actor, but I honestly have no clue what he's doing here. It's not always bad, but there are moments where he's just goofy. Eddie as a character is never very interesting. His whole plot in the beginning, which I won't spoil, but it was just really rushed and kind of lazily done. There was never any chemistry between Eddie and Anne, and I never got a feel for who Eddie is as a person. Like, how okay is he with Venom biting people's heads off? He's just cool with murdering people? He never seems that upset about it, and that could be interesting. But they also try to play him as this really caring, good guy, but I don't know, that just doesn't fit together very well. I was never quite annoyed by Eddie. He got a lot better once he got used to Venom's presence. But I think there's room for improvement in the future. Honestly, it's hard to tell if this movie is purposefully funny, or if it's accidentally so, which kind of makes it fun to watch either way. Let's talk about Anne for a second. I don't get this character. I mean, I understand she's a love interest, kind of, but she just sort of shows up every now and then. She has no character at all. There were some choices she made that I just didn't get the logic behind. There are scenes in the movie, and this is a mild spoiler, but there are scenes where she's in the same room as Venom, and she doesn't seem that freaked out. Like, she screams the first time, but after that, she's pretty much okay with it. I don't know, she just wasn't given very much to do, and when she did have stuff to do, it was almost forced, I guess. It would have been a lot easier to make her more interesting and a better part of the story, but they just didn't. And that's my main problem here, is that the whole thing just could have been a lot better. The villain of the movie is just no good, in my opinion. Carlton Drake is just evil bad guy businessman slash scientist which is a trope that I thought we were way past now. Again, they could have made him interesting, given him some layers, but they just didn't. Like, he talks a bit about how he wants uh, to better mankind, 
but it's difficult to tell how genuine he is when in the next scene he's watching innocent people die like it's nothing. But like I said, there are some cool scenes here and there. I like the action scenes with Venom, or at least all of them except the last fight with Riot. That was kind of terrible, in my opinion. But the scenes before, especially the one where Venom faces off against the SWAT team, were really fun. The effects on Venom are great, and I really enjoyed everything to do with him. I thought they did a great job bringing him to life visually. There are also some brief moments where this movie has a creepy, kinda horror-ish scene. Those were great. I wish the movie had picked a tone and stuck with it, but it didn't. It just can't seem to decide if it wants to be dark and gritty or a goofy, buddy cop-esque comedy. The dialogue between Eddie and Venom was fun, even though, like I said, it could have been more interesting and complex. I guess I've been spoiled by the Netflix shows. Do I think that there should be another Venom movie? Sure. A lot of the problems here are things that I think can be fixed in future installments. There's a lot of potential here, I just don't know if Sony will allow them to tap into it. Overall, I'm honestly not quite sure how I feel about Venom. I wouldn't say that I dislike it, but I'm not quite sure that I like it either. It's weird. There are some fun moments and ideas in it that I think could make for better future installments. It was fun to watch, but also there were scenes that just kind of dragged, so yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we are now entering the spoilers discussion part of this video, so if you haven't seen Venom yet, stick this in your watch later and come back after you have. The only real things I want to talk about here is the mid credit scene and the future of Venom and Sony's universe of Marvel characters, or SUMC. So the mid credit scene sees Eddie Brock visit an inmate named Cletus Cassidy in prison. Cletus Cassidy is, of course, Carnage. A description of this scene was leaked like six months ago, but it's still pretty cool to see on screen, even if I'm not a huge fan of the casting here. Don't get me wrong, Woody Harrelson's a great actor, he just doesn't look right here to me at all. When I picture Carnage, I picture a skinny, red-haired, unsettling-looking guy. I picture him looking almost like a meth addict or something. Woody Harrelson looks more like Ronald McDonald than Cletus Cassidy to me. I mean, what is with this wig? Why did they make it curly? I don't understand. I know it's not fair to judge this performance based off of this one 30 second scene, but I wasn't impressed by his acting either. To me, it was like he was trying too hard to be creepy and crazy. It reminds me of my first impressions of Jared Leto's Joker. It's just trying too hard. Maybe I'll be wrong by the time Venom 2 comes out, because it's definitely coming. This movie has broken all the records for the month of October. Am I excited for the future of Venom and the SUMC? Eh, I think if Sony actually does listen to some of the criticisms for this movie, Venom 2 could be a huge improvement. Because there's a ton of potential with a lot of the stuff in this movie. I'd love to see this version of Venom interact with MCU Spidey. That'd be a lot of fun. As for the SUMC, I'm still not quite buying it. The movie has confirmed to me that Sony doesn't have the creative vision to build an interesting cinematic universe, or more accurately, they won't allow the creators to do so. Morbius is the next movie to go into production. It'll start filming in February, and it'll star Jared Leto. I'm not excited about this at all. I'm predicting it'll be the most boring, cliched type of vampire movie ever. We just learned that there may be a Spider-Man in the Kraven movie, but that it won't be MCU Spider-Man, so what's the point even? Really, I'm far more interested in the Into the Spider-Verse stuff than any of this. I'd watch a Spider-Ham movie over Jackpot or Morbius any day of the week. In fact, I might make a video about that. But I'd like to know what you guys thought. Did you enjoy Venom? Are you excited for Carnage's arrival? How would you like to see Sony fix the SUMC in the future? And do you think Venom could be tweaked to be a part of the MCU? From my observations, there was nothing in it that would majorly screw up the timeline or anything. Ron Cephas Jones plays Eddie's boss, but he's also Bobby Fish and Luke Cage. 
But this wouldn't be the first time Luke Cage actors played two roles in the MCU. The biggest thing would be the Life Foundation building not appearing in Ant-Man and the Wasp. But again, that's not a big deal. I'd love to know your all next time. Knock, knock, let the devil in, my as I've ever been, head is spinning, this